All right, with just about everything starts with organizing stuff. So you want to create a, a, a folder. I don't quite care where it goes. And you call it motion reel. Okay. Um, I'm going to put my, you know, all my, um, You know, I'm not even really ready for this. I'm just kind of grabbing stuff that I've done. Got it. Um, okay. Let's just do this. Uh, oh. oh my God. Okay. This. Is a, all right. Motion reel. You can even say motion reel last name. I don't need this motion collection but this is just for your own organizing. So there you go, it's right there, desktop. You put it in documents, you put it in where you want. Um, it's up to you. So, and then now I'm, now I'm opening Adobe Premiere Pro. It is, it is the, some of the easiest software that I've ever experienced. So I'm gonna say Motion Real uh, 20, uh, Ray, 2024. All right, good enough. All right, um, and it doesn't even before that. It doesn't even matter the size. It can be 780 or 1080. Port media to start, and I have it nice, nice. Uh, let me put on the, and I'll just import it, and it gets knocked out here. And I basically say, here's this one. Here is this one. Oh, yeah, it's okay if there's no sound. Why is it? Okay. Okay, here is weird. I don't know why this is in here. Okay, here's this one. Um, that's actually... <laughs> Okay, good enough. All right. Um, there it is. You've laid it out, and it's cool. So you just want to do a few extra things. You want to edit the sound down so it's not completely crazy loud. And and normally the sound I do around between, right up around 12. Um, yeah, so that's too loud. Okay. So I'm going to bring it down here. That's okay. Way too loud, so I do that. This one doesn't have. Okay. It was still loud. Sorry. Bring it down a little bit more. Quick audio. Um, I'm gonna push everything over a little bit just to do a title. I hit T for title, and then um, hello. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter what font. Um, it's legible. I'm going to say motion design real uh, 20 spring 2024. Um, let's see. So I kind of want it in the middle. So I'll do like, how about if I do this? Or how about if I do, let me see. Center text vertically, you see that right here? All right. Let me move it over. See how yeah, I click that and bring this over. Let's put this right here. Right, is that it? Okay. Center, center, okay. And let me get at it. I go went back down 2024. Jeffrey Ray. Uh, I do when you. I kind of try to do transitions, video transitions. So um, what I'll do is when you do tra video transitions, they actually should be next to each other. The title should be next to the the visuals. You see that. Uh, let's spread it out a little bit more. And um, you go into effects, 
go video effects and transition uh, no I'm sorry video video transitions right here not just transition and I usually do the dissolves and added the dissolve for the beginning so it kind of fades in that means you might have to make it a little bit longer I'll show you how to do that okay, let me do this and there I guess you yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit longer okay you see that these are now apart Motion design reel, and I'm going to add an additive dissolve, and then I'm going to go across dissolve. Right, so you go. And then I'm going to add a cross dissolve between these. Don't have to do that, but it just makes it look a little bit more professional. Cross dissolve to this. Okay. Okay. And how about a dip to black? Boom. So this is actually part of my reel. I just luckily randomly okay. Okay, so very simple. Motion design rule. Always look at it. And then at the end, if anyone else helped you with anything or music or you can add more um, extra camera work by, you know, this and that. So you can add that at the end. And again, you would just place it right here. Hold on. Actually, you could just, you could just start um, typing right here. Credits by etc okay thank you thank you for for watching all right and that's your motion design okay hold on let me connect that again uh, if you want the music to fade better you can do audio transitions, right? Crossfade. Uh, just do that right there. Or you can go in and hit this little point here. At this point, I actually prefer to do it this way. See how I brought it down. All right, there you go. Um, yes, yeah, so this. Okay, so now you got this beautiful motion reel. Save it. And just um, so. You make sure you, everything's covered. You go to Edit, Select All, and you export media. Same way as like um, After Effects. I love MP4, as you know. Make, sh make sure that Motion Reel Ray 2024. Right, okay, X I got everything. Make sure that it's, this is fine. Matching rate, H24, totally fine. All good, export. 
All right, so now you get open up your YouTube. You have your own channel. Uh, uh, actually, I don't want to. Uh, uh, your videos. No, I do not. And I want to create and I want to upload the videos. All right. I'm going to find it. Select files. Go to desktop. Motion reel. All right. Okay, open. Uh, let's just do this right. Okay, and then you, you go next, you have this, and you go through the steps. I'm not gonna do this. But, um, yeah, you go video link and all that stuff. All right. So that's how you do your motion reel. And then you have it on, um, you have YouTube uh, video of it. Pretend this is the motion wheel. And then in order to, you simply can copy video link or what if you're actually in it. Hello. And you want to share and you copy this. This is, this is what you copy to put into your website. All right. And there's a block for URLs for your website. All right.